Uh, greetings in the name of Jesus. Um, welcome to the to the Sunday school. I hope you are all uh, keeping well. That the Lord is still keeping you safe uh, uh, wherever you find your yourself. I I welcome you to to the Sunday school. Uh, maybe before we we start with the with the lesson that um, I, I I I then want us to to then close our eyes and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Father, you are mighty and holy. There is none like you, Lord. There is none, Father, that can be compared to you. We thank you, Lord, as we gather to hear your word, O God. Father, guide us, O God, in the name of Jesus. Give us the understanding, O God, to understand your word, O God. For your word is life, O God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to comprehend it, O God. Open our ears to hear that which you want us to hear today, O God, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. So, there's some few scriptures that uh, we will look at um, today, uh, and I hope that we will learn um, out of them, and the Lord will, will really bless us. Uh, maybe it's important that I also want to thank the uh, the women of the church who have been ministering in, in the Women's Month. I we have really learned a lot uh, from from them. Uh, we really appreciate those lessons because uh, it's really the word of God that uh, keeps us going. So. Otherwise, without the word of God, we will be doomed. So we are grateful for those lessons. Uh, we have really learned a lot from them. Um, we, we appreciate you. I also want to thank the, the pastor for the opportunity also to share uh, something this morning for, for our Sunday school. Um, I want to encourage us that we ought to know that God loves us. Uh, God has no intention of harming us. God has every intention to see us happy, to see us prospering, to see us being well in our bodies. That is every plan of God about our lives. Um, we know from the book of Jeremiah, uh, 29 verse uh, 11, uh, if we read there, the Bible says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, the plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you hope and to give you a future. That is the God's, God's plan about our lives. He's, he's got no any other plan to see us suffering. He's got no any other plan that to see us uh, sick, to see us uh, struggling, to see us losing this and that. But the plan of God is to see us uh, being well. And, 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 and we ought to believe this because the devil will always try all the tricks to take this away from us to take the message or the word of god from us and not to believe what the word of god says so that he swift us away from from that which the word of god says if we, 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 we start uh, by reading from the scripture, uh, John 3, a common scripture, John 3, 16. John 3, 16 says, um, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have an eternal life. God did not spare his own son. He gave him out for us because he loved us. 
Hence, I am saying, God loves us. If we read further again uh, 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 in Romans uh, uh, 8, uh, I want us to go there quickly. Uh, Romans um, uh, 8, if we read um, uh, from 32. The Bible says in, in verse uh, 32 that he did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he also not along with him graciously give us all things? From John 16, we, we hear that God loved us so much that he gave his own son to die for our own sin, for our own redemption. And the same emphasis has been, is, is also here in Romans, that he who did not spare his only son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not along with him graciously give us all things? Now, this is the message of God to us as, 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 as believers who has received his word. That he loves us. He wants us to have all these good things. Yes, there's always challenges that we come across as, as, as we walk in life. But those challenges are not the challenges that are, 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 are what a, a, a God uh, 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 plan is about our lives. But I would rather say those challenges are there to test the degree at which we believe in God. That when we meet all these challenges, will we still trust the word of God? Will we still believe even when we lose this and that. When we are sick in our body, do we believe that God is a healer? When we see ourselves going through challenges, do we believe that uh, 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 God still loves us, even when we find ourselves in difficult circumstances? And the word of God tells us that God loves us. And we ought to believe that God loves us. And if we believe God loves us, God will make sure that every promise that he has made our, about our lives, he fulfills it. God is not a man who should lie nor repent. He doesn't speak and not act. That which he, which he has spoken about our lives, he will fulfill it. So, we have a responsibility ourselves to believe the word of God and what it says about our lives. So it's an important lesson that uh, 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 we believe that. And because the devil will always want to use the circumstances that we find ourselves in to create doubts in our mind to create doubts in our minds that if God loves you, if God has uh, 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 really loves you, why are you going through what you are going through? Why are you like this if, if, if God loves you? Why have you lost that? Why have you lost that? That is what the devil will do. But the Bible tells us in Romans 8 again, um, verse 18, if we read there, it says, I consider, uh, verse 18 rather, Romans 8 verse 18, it says, I consider that our present suffering are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. 
So the suffering that uh, we may be going through is a temporary because we know that God's plan about our lives is not to harm us. The challenges that we may be facing are not permanent. They will come, they will go. The question is, when we find them, ourselves in those challenges, do we stay true and believe that uh, the challenges that we find ourselves in are for a moment and they will pass? And I think that's where the tricky of, 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 of our faith is. And we are not even unique as the generation of today. Uh, to 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 these uh, challenges that are there. Um, if 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 we look at again, um, in 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 Matthew, uh, chapter Matthew chapter um, chapter three. Uh, if we quickly move to Matthew chapter three. Um, Matthew chapter three. Uh, if we if we look at from verse verse thirteen, we are told about uh, Jesus Christ Himself. Uh, Jesus was uh, uh, after being baptized by John. The Bible says. Um, the Spirit of God in the form of a dove rest on him. And the voice came from heaven, and that we find it in, in verse 17. I read, it says, a voice from heaven said, this is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. God said to Jesus, and 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 about Jesus that's confirming that it is his son, he loves him, and he's well pleased with him. But we see that in chapter four of Matthew, Matthew chapter four, that after Jesus has gone into the wilderness, after fasting for for the forty days. In 49, we hear that the devil now found him hungry. And he says to him, he wants to put a reasonable doubt in his mind. God said to Jesus, this is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. But the devil, when he comes to Jesus, he, he says, after finding him hungry, uh, if we if we if we if we look at chapter four, verse verse three, if we read it, it says, the temper came to him and said, if you are the son of God, tell these stones to turn into bread. If you are the son of God. As I was saying, that the intention of the devil is to create doubts in our minds so that he can swift away us from believing in God. And then when we have moved away from God, then he's got every chance to swift us away. Even with Jesus, he says, if you are, if you are the son of God, creating a doubt, And an impression that if you doubt yourself so that you can start questioning yourself whether am I, am I really the, 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 the child of God? Why am I going through this and that? Am I really the child of God? But we hear the response of Jesus in that moment. The response of Jesus was that it is written. The word of God it is written. And that should be our attitude. 
uh, and our response to, 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 to the challenges that we find ourselves in. And when we find ourselves being cross-examined by the devil, questioning our standing in the Lord, that whatever we are going through, maybe God has abandoned us. God has not abandoned us. God loves us. And we ought to remind the devil what the word of God says about our lives. I started from the, 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 the book of Jeremiah 11, that the plans of God, uh, 29, 11, Jeremiah, that the plans of God are not to harm but to give us hope, to give us a future. Now, we, 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 we must always be ready to respond to the devil at any given time in our life when he challenges us. We ought to respond with the word of God and what the word of God says about our lives. But we ought to believe the word of God that God loves us, that he died for us, that his plans about our lives are not to harm us. That whatever challenge that we may be facing cannot be compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. And, 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 and I have a strong view that uh, as long as the sun rises from the east, that it is called today. There is hope for us because we believe in the word of God. We believe what God says about our lives and the plans that he has for us are not to harm us, but are to give us a hope and a future. So it is important that we believe what the word of God says about, about our lives. So that whatever the enemy may want to, to, to say, whatever the enemy may want to trick us in drifting away from, 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 the, way, from, 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 from the Lord, we are able to respond with the word. And because we believe what the word is. The Bible tells us that Jesus knowing his standing in God, that God loved him and believed the word of God. He responded to that doubt, that if, and we know that it's not if we are the children of God. If we have received the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, he is our Father. It's not if he loves us. So I wanted us uh, this morning to, 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 to learn from this, to say God loves us. From, from, from the word of God tells us that God loves us. So much that he had to give his own son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. And, I, and, 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 and for our own redemption, that because we believe in him. So we, we, it's not an if we are the children of God. We are the children of God and God loves us and he has no intention to harm us. So whatsoever we could be going through as the challenges, whatsoever it is, cannot be compared to that which God has planned for us. And I believe that God will help us to understand his word. God will help us to believe his word. God will help us to understand his word, his intentional about our lives. And we will always stand firm in our faith because ultimately it is about us believing in God and God seeing us through the challenges that we face. The common scripture that we know all of us 
uh, the, the, the Psalms about where, where David uh, in 20, uh, chapter 20, I mean, uh, Psalm 23, uh, David says, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil because the Lord is with me. So even if the setbacks that we find ourselves, uh, the circumstances that we find ourselves in, we shouldn't be in despair. God will see us through. God loves us. There is hope for us. As long as we live, God will bless us. As long as we live, God will see us through in all the situation. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord uh, keep you. May the Lord strengthen you. Uh, as 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 we we continue in the journey of of life and knowing and believing that God loves us there's no doubt about that God loves us he has given his son for us and how much more can he do for us if he was able to give his own son for us Hallelujah. So thanks very much for 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 for, for listening. Um, maybe before I close, uh, maybe there's a song we can sing. Um, although it may sound like I'm speaking the song, but uh, I think the message will be in the song. That. Nothing can separate us. Oh, nothing can separate us from the love of God, our Savior. Oh, nothing can separate us. Nothing. Oh, nothing, nothing, oh, nothing, 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 oh, nothing, oh, nothing, nothing, oh, nothing, nothing. Nothing can separate us from the love of God, our Savior. Ah, oh, nothing can separate us. Hallelujah. God bless you. Uh, until we, we meet again, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for, for the lesson of today. I believe, O oh God, you have spoken to, to us and reminding us, O oh God, that you love us. And we have no reason to doubt because you are not a man who lie nor repent. You speak, Father, you act, you promise, you fulfill. That which you have spoken of, about our lives will come to pass. And we thank you, Lord, for this lesson in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. God bless.